Atherosclerosis to some degree can be reversible. We don't have medication that can completely dissolve the plaque out of arteries, but with um, certain medications we can stabilize it and reverse it just a little bit and then certainly exercise. You know, it's a dirty word, that, that exercise word, and, and in interviews I've done before, I've tried not to mention the, the E word, but here I go again um, with exercise, in that it really boils down to moving your blood. Because you can just imagine, and it's kind of like a, an engine, sometimes I'll do automotive analogies, and I have no right doing automotive analogies because I know nothing about cars, but mechanics very much are just like physicians um, because they'll talk about corrosion and you'll talk about fuel, uh, you know, super unleaded or um, medium unleaded or, or whatever. And that has to do with corrosion inside your, uh, your engine. And it's the same thing as inside your arteries. It really depends on what kind of fuel you put in. Um, and also it has to do with the pump, you know, if you're down a few cylinders and your engine's strained uh, and the pressures in the system are different, it's going to be the same with, with the vessels. And so the more you move your blood, there's less chance for atherosclerotic plaque for to, to develop in the first place. So it does boil back down to that, that naughty E word that I use, you know, exercise. Exercise is moving your blood. I don't care what you do, just do it. And like the American Heart Association, what do they say about exercise? The very minimum that you should do? 30 minutes, five times a week, 30 times 550 minutes a week. That's a brisk walk. That's 150 minutes a week. <laughs>